What's up guys? I'm back again with another video and today I'm covering something with expert broadcaster software. Now, in the past I did uh, a how to stream to Twitch kind of basic guide on what you need, talking about software, pros and cons, some other bits and pieces. And uh, today we're taking a look at the broadcaster side of things, uh, well, the exploit broadcaster side of things. And um, I got uh, recently got into a conversation with the exploit UK uh, community manager. Really nice guy. I suggest you hit him up on Twitter, say hello, drop him a follow. Um, I'll put a link in the description to that guy. Um, he's really great to talk to, knows his stuff. And oddly, if you're going to be at Insomnia 54 this Easter, uh, which is only a week away, I'm looking forward to being there. I believe XSplit are doing some kind of uh, talk, uh, talk on broadcasting to Twitch or broadcasting to the internet uh, with XSplit. So that's going to be, that's in the uh, the Insomnia schedule. I'm going to put a link in the description to that as well. But besides the point, uh, this video, as the title suggests, I'm talking about broadcasting to Twitch or YouTube or uh, etc. And uh, as we all know, or most people should know, if you're going to be broadcasting to the internet, you're going to be broadcasting live video, it is very system intensive. Now, this generally comes down to because you're essentially encoding video live on the fly. You're not doing it in post when after you've done editing. This is everything going out live to the internet, and this is intensive. Now, not everyone has £1,000 gaming PCs or £2,000 gaming PCs that are overclocked and are all shiny with Titan Xs, etc., etc. I don't. Hell, I'd kill to have a... No, that's, no, I wouldn't kill, but I'd love to have a Titan X. But for my needs, it's overkill. I game at 1080p. I don't need a 4K, you know, SLI graphics setup. Besides the point, I'm waffling. Um, one of the new things with the XSplit Broadcaster is some a new way of encoding video. So I'm going to click on this tool here. I'm going to click on broadcast up here, not tools. I'm going to click on broadcast and I'm going to click the cog and we're just going to take a quick look and I'll show you what I mean. Now, as you can see, typically we have three methods here of encoding, of, of video encoding. So we've got X264, which is uses CPU. We've got the Avamedia H.264 encoder and NVNC. Now, I've talked about NVNC before and uh, QuickSync, which I don't have available because I don't have a CPU that has QuickSync, pure and simple. But what I do have is a Xeon i7. So this is the equivalent of a 4770K to 2600K, etc., whatever, um, that has four physical cores and then hyper-threading. Um, but the problem is, it's it's a Xeon processor, so there's no QuickSync availability. And if you didn't know, QuickSync essentially is using uh, Intel iGPU, so the in, uh, the graphics card that's built into the CPU itself. Um, you enable it, but you're using a discrete graphics card. You're using a, whatever, Titan X 980, 970, etc. for your display output. So that iGPU just sits there doing nothing unless you turn it, turn some features on within your BIOS and set, you are then enable QuickSync. And QuickSync, Twitch, uh, Twitch ignoring me, reading the screen here, Exploit Broadcaster uses it, OBS uses it, um, I think a few other bits and pieces software-wise use it for encoding video. Um, it's great, it reduces the CPU usage overhead from up in the 80s down to under 20%. Depending on what game you're playing, and obviously if you're playing something very CPU intensive, DayZ is an example, DayZ standalone or DayZ mod, very CPU intensive, and causes problems when you're trying to encode video on the fly for your stream. Now, Avamedia Live Gamer HD, which is what I've got installed in my system, is essentially what the Avamedia H.264 encoder is. It allows you, the user, to use your Live Gamer HD to encode the video for your stream. Taking it off, having to use NVENC from, uh, which is essentially a shadow place. So you're not using C uh, GPU processing power. You don't have to use X264, which is CPU. So you're you're giving your system all of that system usage back again, um, as well as QuickSync, which I don't have. So if you don't have a system with QuickSync available, you don't have a motherboard that supports it, but you have an Avermedia Live Gamer HD, you can turn this on. And the testing that I've done and some of the local recording and I'm later on today, I'm going to be streaming uh, to Twitch 
and I'll put a link in the description as well. Um, pretty much gives you perfect video quality whilst reducing system usage on your CPU, GPU, etc. And that is pretty much it, ladies and gentlemen. That's all I wanted to talk about today is to to make everyone aware that you can now use your Ava Media Live Gamer HD to encode video whilst you're streaming or whilst you're recording locally. So if you're doing something that's very intensive on your system, like whatever game you might be playing that's got lots going on and uses CPU usage and you're finding your system just can't cope, this is a great way forward. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget, if you like this video, hit the like button. Even hell, if you dislike this video, hit the dislike button. I don't care. Uh, I got a question or a query about Expert Broadcaster. Don't forget to leave a comment. and I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching.